Billy Steve was raised in a Czech family in a Czech neighborhood. And he's the author of a book entitled The Wartime Experiences of a Cleveland Czechoslovak Legionnaire. And uh, soon to be released book entitled The Settlement, Growth, and Movement of the Czechs and their institutions in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we're gonna learn a lot about the Legionnaires who helped create the country of Czechoslovakia just after World War I. Well, I was just sitting here listening to the music, and it's a page of who. Many of you in the audience uh, wouldn't remember this. I know Joe Kotov and a few of us might, people of my vintage. But I remember walking down the street on either Chapel Side, well, there wasn't so much Chapel Side, but Glendale Avenue, an old uh, area around 131st in Miles, in which every Sunday you could hear about every other house playing Czech music during the day. And you just walk down the street, it was either the baseball game or Czech music. Most of you have probably never had no recollection of that. It just struck me as a recollection as I was listening to the band today. To get started, one of the things that it's important to recognize is that we have a country that we're speaking about here today that really didn't exist as such, but there were cultures that eventually were brought together uh, in unity to set up a country that represented several cultures. It wasn't easy for that to occur. One of the things that I'd like to do before we start that, though, is to bring at least two, if I hit the right key. Most of you probably can't see this too well, but that's the picture of the Czech flag flying under the American flag at City Hall at this moment. Uh, Paul sent me this picture yesterday, he must have taken it uh, yesterday, and uh, it's in recognition of the 100th uh, anniversary of the founding of Czechoslovakia in support of the proclamation that was uh, uh, given a little bit earlier. The next is uh, I'll just let this go by itself. Ladies and gentlemen, let me use this opportunity to greet you upon the celebrations of the centennial of Czechoslovakia, today the Czech Republic, in the so-called Greater Cleveland area. We do know, back in Homeland, that Cleveland has a very special role to play in establishing our free and democratic country in 1918, and we are very much aware that there is a very wide and vibrant Czech community which is still engaged in promoting the ideals which we share with the time of Tomáš Garek Masaryk, the founder of Czechoslovakia back in 1918. Without the Cleveland Declaration, we would not have been sitting here today, and if we would, we would not maybe call ourselves Czechs. We are absolutely sure that there is a special added value if one can call himself Czech even when he was born to Cleveland, United States of America. We in the homeland are thinking of you in Cleveland. We know that you devoted a lot for our country to be free and democratic. And in this moment, we also keep in our memory all the people who devoted even their lives to the ideals which we can together celebrate today. As much as I would have preferred to be with you tonight in person, the celebrations of 100 years of Czechoslovakia keeps me in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. But I do promise that we will be in Cleveland, the place which so many Czechs call their home. If you did. Uh, I had written to the uh, uh, ambassador a couple of months ago, and uh, he kindly uh, provided us with that little video. 
which is, uh, I think, a nice tribute to Cleveland, to the Suffolk, and basically to add something to this event, because I thought he did a, a great job. He is the Czech ambassador uh, to the United States.